Renault have now unveiled the electric Renault Scenic E-Tech. Uh, the Renault Scenic E-Tech. I've got to say, it actually looks really, really good. I'm a big fan. However, if you want a Renault E-Tech that, well, is basically this car, but looks different, you can already buy one. It's called the Nissan Aria. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. And I want to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters for sticking with us this year. There's been some tough times, some good times. It's been a rocky year. It's been um, it's been one of the, in some ways, a year from hell. In some ways, it's been great. It's really been up and down. So just want to say thank you, Patreon supporters, YouTube members. If you want to be a YouTube member, you can get access to our videos in advance. So thank you, YouTube members, for supporting the channel as well. I'll put a link in the description to both Patreon and YouTube members. Renault Scenic E-Tech Electric, basically a different version to the Nissan Aria. Aria, don't know how you pronounce that. But anyway, this is basically the big brother to the McGain E-Tech. And it will battle the Volkswagen ID4, the Tesla Model Y, the Hyundai Ioniq 5, and of course, Ford's Explorer EV in Europe. It's got a tough market to take on in Europe. And Stellantis, I don't believe they are able to compete on price with the Tesla Model Y. So it's going to be difficult. But that said, the French are very patriotic. They do like to buy French cars. They probably will buy a lot of this. Plus, it looks really good. So kudos to the designer. This thing, even with camouflage on it, still looks really, really nice. Whoever designed this car, I think did a really good job. Now, not everyone agrees with everything I say, of course, especially when it comes to design. Design is in the eye of the, eye of the beholder. So tell me, what do you think of the looks of it? Let me know in the comment section. The original 1996 Renault Scenic was a huge hit for Renault. I wasn't a big fan of it, but anyway, it helped create a boom in C-segment minivans in Europe. That began to fade, according to car scoops, with the arrival of similarly sized crossovers and SUVs a decade later. Since then, it's been SUVs and crossovers all the way. They are just taking over the market. Of course, Renault know this, so they made the Renault Zoe. Of course, Lucid know that the globally crossovers and SUVs are booming, so they made a sedan. Weird, weird. Anyway, yeah. Jump forward 27 years, and now Renault are playing catch up. They are, big time. The automaker is trying to reinvent itself with the McGain E-Tech and the Scenic thingy E-Tech. And I gotta say that this will sell pretty well to buyers who don't really care about price, want something from Renault, and love the looks of this vehicle. So, what do we know about it? Well, we don't know exactly what's under the hood, but we know that it's going to use the CMF EV platform. And we know there's going to be similar in spec to the Nissan Aria. And we also know what powertrain the concept had. So it's a pretty good chance the concept powertrain will actually carry over into the production spec vehicle. The concept had the McGain drivetrain, which is front wheel drive. It has 215 horsepower. That's 160 kilowatt. It has a maximum 60 kilowatt hour size battery pack. The Scenic, of course, will have front wheel drive versions and all wheel drive versions. Most likely it'll match the Nissan Aria, which has 389 horsepower in its all wheel drive variant, a lot of power. And it has a 290 kilowatt equation to that horsepower figure. So 389 horsepower equals 290 kilowatt. One motor at the back, one motor at the, at the front, 90 kilowatt hour size battery pack. So that pack should give this car a range of around 300 miles. So when is this car going on sale? Apparently it'll go on sale in Europe in 2024. Other markets by probably the end of 2024 or the start of 2025. Now the actual concept did have the Renault Begain front wheel drive setup. It had the 215 horsepower setup with the front wheel drive. But also there was a bizarre vehicle as well. There was also a range extender hydrogen fuel cell version generating 21 horsepower or 16 kilowatt with a 40 kilowatt hour battery. The hybrid setup allows the vehicle to carry twice as light of a battery for the same range. Um, yeah, so basically this is not a ground up EV in some ways because as you can see, there is also a range extender 
version. How big is it? Well, it's actually a similar size to something like a BYD Atto 3. And of course, that means it's smaller than most of the competition. As in, the ID4 is bigger than that. Tesla Model Y is quite a bit bigger than an Atto 3. So it's sort of considered small to medium size crossover. It's 4,490 millimeters long. That's, that's 176.8 inches. But that makes it quite a bit bigger than the Renault Megane, which is a similar size to the MG4 and the BOD Dolphin. The Megane is 4,200 millimeters long or 165.3 inches. Of course, you can see the roof line of this vehicle is also a bit higher than something like a Tesla Model 3 or a BOD Atto 3. So you're probably going to get a fair bit more space in this car versus the smaller Megane. How many seats will it have? Well, obviously a car this size won't fit seven seats. So it'll be a five seater and in terms of price, estimates on price are around about 40 to 45,000 euros, meaning it'll probably cost a similar amount in Europe to a Tesla Model Y. So what do you think? Are you a fan? Do you like it? Personally, I love it, but I'm a bit concerned about the price being too high for Renault to sell a lot of them. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.